Hey everyone, um, boy, glad that Viking season is over. It was ugly to watch. That was hard. I I didn't I didn't even get excited about some of the games, and uh, I think I watched to the end of every game that I watched, and you know, taped a few because I couldn't get them or whatever. I couldn't couldn't see them in real time, but uh, that was ugly. It was terrible. And what a weird season too. Games moving to different locations, getting postponed, the Metrodome collapsing, the Randy Moss, and then Randy Moss goes away, and Brett Favre's streak ends, and Brad Childress gets fired, and they start out three and seven, and finish six and ten. Six and ten was like five years ago, right? Six and ten, eight and eight, ten and six, twelve and four. Yeah, and then in the fifth, Brad Childress's fifth year, which he didn't make it out of, six and ten again. Might have been worse than that if uh, Childress hadn't been fired, really, because the players had given up on him. It was a crazy year, and uh, I'm glad it's over, frankly. Um, I think the off season is more exciting. The Vikings are 0-0 and right now, um, and uh, and it's all potential, you know. Uh, it's too bad. There's nothing really to cheer for in, in the playoffs this year as far as being a Vikings fan, but can't make the playoffs every year, I guess. Um, so... Next year, why why to be why should we be optimistic about next year? Um, I actually think there are a few reasons to be optimistic. Um, for like a nine win season, eight or nine wins, uh, the expectations will be lower than they were last year, which will make it more fun to watch because if they go six and ten, they'll have not met the expectations by two games. Uh, this year, everyone expected them to make a run uh, to the playoffs. In, deep into the playoffs, and hopefully, you know, for Vikings fans, uh, to the Super Bowl. Haven't seen that since the 70s, and it just wasn't meant to be. Um, so, optimism for next year. Um, <clears throat> Childress wasn't working out. He's gone. That's a good thing. Uh, Leslie Frazier is, he seems like a really smart guy. Um, I, I loved what he did with the defense the past few years, and uh, players seem to like him, and, and it's a good move. It makes the team better right now. So that's a good thing. Um, also, you look you look at the players on the team. I mean, I know all the talent was there just this last year, and they went 6-10. and 10. There are also a lot of injuries, uh, a lot more than uh, the average team sustains, I think, usually in an NFL season. Uh, two years ago when they went 12-4, and four, they got really lucky with injuries, didn't have many. Um, last year they got really unlucky with injuries and had a lot. So uh, that that's going to improve both the offense and the defense, I think, because he had some important injuries uh, in the secondary, which made the defense worse, and he had some uh, bad injuries you know, on the offensive line, which made the offense worse. So right away you get that back. And you also look at some important uh, free agents. Uh, Minnesota needs to either tie up or let walk away this year. Um, there's Pat Williams, Chad Greenway, Ray Edwards, and... Uh, uh, Sidney Rice. Um, I actually think Chad Greenway is the most important guy to re-sign in that group. <sighs> Minnesota's linebacking core is a strength. They're not talked about as much as the defensive line, but um, it's a strength. And I think Henderson and uh, uh, E.J. Henderson and Ben Lieber are, they look better than they would with somebody else um, as a third as a third linebacker than Chad Greenway. Greenway's a monster. He he had he had something like 100, 130, 140 tackles on the year. He's everywhere. He hits hard. He's all over the field. I I think he's a tremendous player, and I think he uh, helps Henderson and Lieber fall into uh, their roles. Um, while while he he picks up everything else that needs to get done. Lieber's an extremely smart player. He's often in the right place at the right time and making savvy football moves. And uh, E.J. Henderson is, um, he's not what he was, but he's a, he's a brawler. Uh, he, he's just a big physical guy, and it's it's fun to watch him hit people when they get too close. Uh, but without Chad Greenway, Henderson's not as good, and Lever's not as good, and suddenly the linebacking core is weak, and uh, that can help a defense to fall apart pretty fast. So I think they need to, they really need to keep Greenway. Um, I think the next most important probably is um, Sidney Rice. Now, let's see, who did I say? And Pat Williams and, um, oh, Ray Edwards, yeah. 
So Sidney Rice is probably the next most important. Uh, Minnesota's got a lot of great weapons right now. Sidney Rice, of course, Percy Harvin, Adrian Peterson, Desante Shanko. I think that these guys are all dangerous. Um, and I think when the team is playing well, that they, uh, as a whole, that those guys are all uh, dangerous for an opponent's defense. Um, but without Sidney Rice, uh, I say the Vikings move Joe Webb to wide receiver. He's big uh, and strong and extremely athletic um, and fast, as, as everyone knows. And uh, I'm not super pumped about him being a starting quarterback next year for the Vikings. Um, so I think he'd be better suited as a wide receiver. If you have Webb and Harvin and Shanko and Peterson all on the field at the same time, I think that's pretty dangerous in itself. But if you can add Sidney Rice to the mix, that's even better. Now, depending on what the Vikings do at the quarterback position, Sidney Rice may not be fully utilized. Um, the Vikings might become a team that runs a lot and, and has a lot of defense. They might go back to that and uh, and win games in the trenches that way, and that'd be fine by me. Um, but if they do that, then, then uh, Sidney Rice has less of an impact on the game. So anyway, I'd like to see him stay, but uh, he's not as important in my mind as Chad Greenway. <coughs> Ray Edwards and... Uh, Pat Williams. Ray Edwards is a good player. Uh, Pat Williams, I always love that guy for what he has done for the Vikings, but uh, he's the oldest defensive player in the league. And uh, he, he's just, he's not, he's not what he was. Um, there's a lot of really good, young, talented depth on the defensive line that I'm not too worried about either of those guys, really. Uh, at defensive end, you've got Everson Griffin, you've got Brian Robinson. Um, at tackle, you've got uh, Latroy Guion. Uh, you've got a, a few other guys that have stepped in and played well every time that they've subbed in. Um, so not not as concerned about those guys as free agents. So that's actually really good news. People throw around these four names like, oh, no, what are the Vikings going to do? But really, I think Gr Greenway is essential, and Sidney Rice would be a very good plus to, to keep. Um, and outside of that, I think they're okay.